Hey, hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial by Flowmotion. Today we are going to take a look on how to create this comic cartoon style flag animation. So let's directly get started. We are going to create a new composition. Call this our flag. 1920 by 1080 is fine and 24 frames is also fine for me at the moment. So we hit OK and let's create a flag. So our flag should be a black one because we are of course going for a pirate flag and hit OK. And now my plan is to use all the different masking options that we find here, like the rectangular tool, the ellipse tool and so on, to create a flag with a skull on it. So here we go. Let's create our flag. And I'm just bring it out somewhere in the middle, because later on we also want it to have that animation. So it makes sense to leave it some space at top, bottom, left and right. So now we want to give it a more rough look and therefore we use the ellipse tool. And I'm just creating some of those ellipses around the border of the flag. Okay, so once I have finished that, I can just select all the masks, except the first one, because that is the shape of the flag itself. Select them, hold down shift to select all of them and go to subtract. Now there we already have a pretty rough looking flag. And to give it an even more of a rough look, there are two things that I have done with my flag. First thing is I took a joker and just click on it and choke it a little bit. And then you can directly see that we get rid of all the hard edges. And as an extra step, you could also use the roughen edges effect, bring it on there and you get rough edges. Of course you could play with this, especially with scaling. And you have a pretty rough looking flag. Now let's create our skull. Therefore let's create a white solid. By the way I get a round shape by hitting control and shift and I can move it when I'm holding down the space bar. Okay, I'm using an other mask to just cut it out. So I go to subtract, go to my round rectangle tool, just create some teeth. And while I'm creating the mask and using the mouse wheel, I can work on the sharpness of the edges. Okay, now I'm copying this mask a few times and just reposition it. Maybe delete the first one. And we're already getting somewhere. Let's maybe use the Polygon tool to create a nose. Subtract this one. And use two more of the round rectangular shapes. And also subtract those. And maybe just another one for the bottom there.
once again we can fine tweak that with some joker and the rough edges maybe this time we take the roughen or even the rusty color and maybe just once again on top Now let's get started with the real action here. Let's create a new composition, call this our main comp and we bring out our flag and we want to displace our flag so that it looks like it's waving with the wind. So let's create a new solid and call this our dis placement because we want to displace our flag and for that we want to create some noise patterns that are moving from one direction to the other so that it looks like wind is going from one side to another so let's just type in noise and we just go for the fractal noise here by default this just looks like some typical noise or like clouds or something like that so we want to work on that and to get started let's just work on the transform settings and just scale it up scale it up even more around here and now we can play with contrast and now let's animate our offset turbulence so let's make a keyframe at the first frame. We go forward right until the end. Just animate it over to the side. And when we are now just previewing this, maybe in quarter resolution, you can see what this is doing. And this needs to go faster. So just go to our last keyframe bring it more to the side and now we can also look for different types of noise and this one is looking pretty organic and I'm just looking to have at least somehow the same amount of white and darker parts Okay, this looks fine for me and now I'm also animating the evolution. Just create a keyframe on the first frame and then I'm just dragging up the wheel here to get it some more organic movement along the way. Perfect, and now we're almost done. Let's pre-compose our displacement and call it our displacement source and remove all attributes in the new composition and we bring it beneath our flag and disable it so now we're only seeing the flag and just for the sake of it let's create a background layer and now what we want to do we want to displace our flag so we type in this place and use the displacement map bring it onto our flag and for the displacement map, we now take our displacement layer that we have created. And what do we want to use for the horizontal displacement? And what for the vertical displacement? Of course, we want to use the luminance values that we've created. So basically, the brighter it gets, the more it gets distorted in one direction. And the darker it gets, the more it gets distorted in the other direction. And that's exactly the trick we want to use here. So let's change this to our luminance and also this to our luminance. And now we just bring up the amount. And let's play this back. Okay, now we already have some displacement going on but it still doesn't look that real because we also want to have the feeling that 
there's some light hitting the flag. So therefore, if the flag is bending to the front or to the back or does it movement, we want to also do some, some parts of the flag to catch some light. But obviously we don't have light, so we have to fake it. And that's a pretty easy thing because wherever we want to have light, it should be brighter and it gets distorted more where it is brighter. So we can also use our displacement source to do that. So let's create a duplicate of it by hitting Control D. And there we have it. But now we just want to lay it on top of the flag. So let's also duplicate the flag and use the alpha of the flag to cut it out. Okay, now we have somewhat some light going over the flag. And now we can try out some different blending modes or in this case maybe it is already enough to go down with the opacity. And if I'm playing this back now, you can see that this is exactly what we are going for. Maybe it's a little bit too much displacement. You just have to be aware if you are changing your settings in your flag to also change it into the other flag composition or you just pre-compose it or you can set an easy expression to link those two values. So here's another trick because now everything is waving but we just want the flag to wave at the end or to wave more the more it goes to the end of the flag. So we could easily do that by creating a gray solid because remember where it's white it bends to one direction where it's black it bends to the other direction. So gray basically means we're not doing anything. So let's just make half of the flag gray and I'm just using the ellipse mask tool to make it look more organic and feather this by hitting F and bringing up the feather amount. And back in our main comp, you can see that we now have a flat flag over here and only the end is moving. Pretty interesting. And you just have to be aware, you can always go into the flag composition and just change it, just type in some thing in here and this will automatically update in your main composition. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned a bit about animation, about how to use different layers to drive the animation.